They live in grassland forests. Is that doodle? They weigh up to 10,000 pounds. The Malaysian tapir is mostly found in the dense tropical jungles of Southeast Asia. They are found in forests and they are um, herbivores. Here's the Malayan sun bear. The sun bear is the smallest member of the bear family and is found in southern Asia. This bear is endangered. In it's an omnivore. It lives in the tropical forest. It is nocturnal. Did you know that unlike bears that live in cooler climates, sun bears do not hibernate since food is available all year round. Here we have the sun bears. Here we have the greater one-horned rhinoceros. Rhinos are more closely related to horses than hippos. I bet you guys didn't know that. And all five species of rhinos are in danger of extinction, largely due to poaching. A rhino horn is used in traditional medicine and as symbolic danger handles. Okay, the golden pheasants are from Asia. They come here. They're omnivores. They live in a temperate forest. They incubate five to seven eggs in a nest built on the ground. The black neck store is native to the coastal wetlands and floodplains of southern Asia and Australia. the male has black eyes. Metro Zoo is the only park in the U.S. to display a pair of black neck storks. The black neck stork is also called the Jaburu. Here is the largest cat and one of the most charismatic and competitive creatures of the Zoo Miami. Tigers are indigenous only in the Asian continent. Huh? I told you. Good night. Right here is the Cuban crocodile. They feed on fish and other animals. Yes. They can reach up to 11 feet. They make up to 30 eggs. They, crocodiles are distinguished from alligators by their narrower snouts. And when their mouth closed, the fourth tooth in their lower jaw is visible on a crocodile. Over here we have the Rhea. They are endangered. They live in the grasslands and they are omnivores. They lay nests containing as much as 60 eggs. They are the largest of South American birds. They are flightless and they are a terrestrial bird that can weigh up to 50 pounds. Galapagos tortoise. It is native to the Galapagos Islands and it is a herbivore. It's endangered and it can live up to 150 years. That's all. When they are threatened, they flee and have the capability of running on top of water on their hind legs to escape predators. They eat birds, reptiles, mammals, and fish, and they could grow up to 6 feet and 250 pounds.
They're two feet. They're two feet. Yeah. I That's all. South America. South America. What is in the water? In the Amazon, we find the giant side neck turtle, one of the world's largest freshwater turtles. It can measure three feet long and weigh over 100 pounds. They are hunted mainly for their meat, oil, and eggs. Also, you'll find the giant Thai catfish known as the Mekong catfish found in Southeast Asia's Mekong River. They are endangered and it's illegal to catch them. The red-tailed catfish is a bottom dweller and can weigh up to 100 pounds and reach about 4 feet in length. Most South American natives are superstitious about these fish and don't consider them as food. The tiger shovel nose catfish can be very aggressive and reach up to four feet in length. The black cuckoo can grow to over three feet long and weigh over 60 pounds. The difference between it and the piranha is their size and diet. They live in grassland slash forests. They're herbivores and they're endangered. They can grow up to be nine feet tall and weigh up to 5,500 kilograms. African elephant has the largest living mammals in the world. Their straight backs and large ears differ from the arch backs and smaller ears from the Asian elephant, unlike the Asian countries. Both males and females have tusks. And did you know the elephant trunk is the largest nose in any animal? Grasslands. Inhabiting the plains of sub Saharan Africa, warthogs get their name from the fleshy bumps on their heads as males. You can find these characters in the movie Lion King, Lion King 1 and a half, and Lion King 2. This character is based on Pumbaa. Hit it! Akun, I'm a Tomatata! of the eight family. However, they're not my No, I didn't. Back to you, Brianna. As you can see in their natural habitat, the Matachi tree kangaroo, and it says you're not talking on the glass because you get irritated because it's very stupid. And they live in trees. Danger, watch. The bush. The bush. The emu. 
Ubers are opportunistic for you. No matter, traveling long distance to find food. The female Uyu will lay 5 to 20 dark green eggs, which will male incubate. Incubation lasts 8 weeks. The male emu will also raise the chicks by himself. Did you know, emus are the third largest bird in the world, behind the ostrich and the cassowary. They can run at the speeds up to 30 miles per hour. An emu can take strike of nine They live in Australia. They are not endangered. In fact, they are very common. They live in grasslands and they usually feed on fruits and seeds. Back to you. New Guinea singing dogs. They get their name from the wide ranging howls that they produce. How Sounds similar to that. They are able to make these sounds due to a loose of soft pellets on the roof of their mouth. They primarily <laughs> feed on small animals. They are endangered, actually. They can grow up to 17 inches tall, 43 centimeters. They live in a mountain, and they are indeed carnivores. And they live in New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. Did you know Siganog was the first brought to Guinea by a board in over 6,000 years ago? That's older than your grandmother. <laughs> Back to you, Rihanna. The New Guinea singing dog, they get their name, I can't do it. Just do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it means no worries for the rest of the day.